Okay, today we'll be opening up this used Motorcraft oil filter, number FL910S. And I got this used Motorcraft oil filter from a very generous viewer whose name is Matt from Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Thanks, Matt. This filter was in service for four months, 4,987 miles, and came off of Matt's 2022 Ford Maverick XLT Hybrid. Yep, the one with the 2.5 liter engine, which now has 20,000 miles. He was using Mobile One Zero W20 full synthetic oil during this period. Let's open up this Motocraft oil filter and see how it did. So let's get started. This is the network. You gotta do the silicone, the nice pipe, get your hand in here, filtration, and the hand here. Okay, so before we open up this filter, let's take a quick look at it. The date code 9031722244. And this is a sticker. And on this sticker it says, Majority of content made in USA. And this filter has seven elongated inlet holes, silicone and drain back valve, three grooves there for threads. And it looks like uh, louvers, metal core with louvers. The bypass valve is right here at the base end. And nitro rubber gasket. I started taking it off. It's on there pretty good. Yeah. Pretty thick also. I'll put the measurement of this on the screen. Yeah, it looks good. Alright, let's open this filter up and see what it looks like. Not much oil. Okay, put that to the side. Silicone and drain back valve. That yeah, looks good. I don't see no, no tears or slits in it. I'll clean that up after. Yeah, looks like it fits on there nice. Okay, the filter on it. Yeah, the last one I opened up had a lot of glue on it. This one looks like it has some excess glue on it. See that? That's excess glue right there. Look at that. I'm gonna put that to the side. Get off my glove. There. All right, we got a metal crib seam. I'll put the number of pleats up on the screen. Oh yeah, some excess glue here also. Look at that. A lot of it. The pleats look nicely spaced though. Yeah, there's no tears. That looks all good. And this is a cellulose polyester blend media with a micron rating of 95% for particles greater than 30 microns. I think that's just from the um, from opening up. I seen a white sliver of paint. So here's a bypass valve. All right, so the only thing I see wrong is just uh, some excess glue. Otherwise, it all looks good. So you can see the the white paint coming off when I was cutting it open. That's that. That's all that was on the filter element. And the oil looks pretty nice in there, and yeah, no sludging, no carbon soot. Looks good. Nice. Got a nice color to it too. Stamp leaf spring, that looks fine. Yep. Let's get some measurements. Point three two millimeters for the can. And two point four two inches wide. 
minus a tenth of an inch. Okay, let me um, cut this filter element. Yeah, it's a paint. Let me cut this filter open, squeeze it out, stretch it out, and uh, see what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, so here's the filter all stretched out. And this Motorcraft oil filter is 51 inches long. Okay, let's get the thick descent of filter media. 0.63 millimeters thick. And this is the filtering side, back side. And this this filter media is really clean. Um, you can tell by looking at it under the microscope. It caught just a couple little little things, but not much. Let's take a look at that picture. So looking under a microscope, you can see that it caught a couple things, but it's it's really clean and it's it's clean throughout. So take a look at it up close. So you can see this filter media is really clean. These little marks here are just from the vice vice jaw that when I was squeezing it out. But yeah, this filter is real clean. There's really no soot, no carbon on here or that's from the vice jaws also. No sparklies. Yep, this is this is a super clean filter. Probably one of the cleanest ones I've ever seen. And let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So besides the extra glue that we got on here, you see it on the end cap here. And this was the other piece that I took off earlier. I don't know if they'll focus in or not. Um, the filter looks fine otherwise I mean you got a nice bypass valve here on the base end let's take a look at these louvers yeah these are all opened up they look nice and the crimp came off when I was cutting it open stamp leaf springs fine gaskets fine nice and thick yeah, gasket held up nice. Any drain bag valve, this fits on here nicely. I like the Purelator style oil filters because they got the elongated inlet holes. Kind of like those. They're nice. Yeah, so this base plate's nice. And the can, the can's about average thickness, maybe a little bit thinner. But look at look at how clean that is. I, all they did is have it sitting like this. Nice and clean. So, just other than the glue, the glue was a bad part of this filter. What do you guys think about this oil filter? And again, I want to thank Matt for sending me this used Motocraft oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays, I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care.